Hi, Alton Brown here. You know, having uh, carefully reviewed years of kitchen stadium battle notes, I am ready to proclaim the pig to be the Iron Chef's favorite source of both meat and cooking fat. And the uh, preferred form of pork fat is, of course, rendered pork fat, AKA lard. Why? Well, not only can it be darn flavorful, uh, it's versatile, it's a top performer in baked goods, and it is uh, lower in saturated fats than almost uh, all other uh, animal fats while being higher in monounsaturated or good fats. And if you uh, prepare it yourself, it is free of trans fats and, well, even better tasting if you ask me. Now, to make it yourself, you're going to need at least a pound of uncured, that is raw pork fat. It can be um, any trimmings or fat back, which is taken from, well, the back of the pig just under the skin. By the way, if you tell your butcher what you're up to, he or she will most likely give you the fat for free, which is nice. Now, cold fat is always easier to handle than warm, so uh, chill it down in the freezer for eh, about an hour, and then cut the fat into quarter inch cubes and load into a six to eight quart heavy Dutch oven, along with a third of a cup of water. All right, now since it absorbs a lot of heat without actually increasing in temperature, the water will help to uh, prevent overbrowning, which could uh, throw off the flavor. Bake uncovered in a 300 degree oven for uh, three to four hours, stirring every 30 to 40 minutes. If you have a potato masher, uh, you could actually use that to kind of squeeze the solid fat each time. That'll speed things up considerably. All right, when it looks like everything that can liquefy has carefully strain into a heat proof containment, cool to room temperature, cover and then refrigerate for eh, up to four months. Uh, if you freeze it, well, it'll last pretty much forever. Now, the nice thing about lard is that when it sets up, it is very soft and creamy, like shortening, only much, much, much better. You can use it, in fact, in place of shortening or even butter um, in uh, pie crusts, uh, biscuits, tortillas, crackers, cookies, etc. Don't even get me started on how uh, great lard is in refried beans. Also, um, there are serious fringe benefits. For instance, if you continue to uh, brown the leftover solids after straining, you will be rewarded with cracklins. Now, I'm not going to outright say that these are the best crunchy snacks on earth, but actually, yes, I am. Cracklins are actually the best snack on earth. So make lard part of your larder. Believe me, it is the iron thing to do.